Uh, but first, let's get in Dresden. Severin, you see a Kelid around 50 years old, dressed in a doublet that looks older than its owner. Once it may have been expensive, but now it's worn and patched. A scabberless sword hangs on the belt, covered in such a thick layer of rust that it looks more like a club. His flesh swollen face, spongy nose, and dark circles beneath his eyes suggest that he is a heavy drinker. When he opens his mouth to speak, you're suspicious, he confirmed by the stench of stale alcohol in his breath. So you're the commander, huh? It's a cozy little place you got yourself here. All these walls, polished furniture, are solid, commendable. Why, I think I'll give you a medal for this. Medal? You're too kind. Don't mention it. I'm generous, soul, but I'm also fair. I dish out medals, and I punish as I please. Who am I? Not just your average citizen. Uh, the man groans as he strains up, affecting a proud, noble bearing insofar as his decrepitude allows. You will be pleased to know that I am Therbrin Quintessim Herifantal, rightful heir to the throne of Is and Selkaris. Everyone knows that the king has ever ruled over all Selkaris, and there is no throne in Is. How would you know? Have you been to Is? Have you seen it with your own eyes? You haven't. And if you haven't, maybe there was one. My pops used to tell me about the throne in the palace. It was gold all over. And it was encrusted with all matters of crusty things, like diamonds and fire ants, rubies and buos. Uh, couldn't take your eyes off of it, and that's what kind of throne it was. And it's all mine, mine by right. Can you prove your claim? Of course. We weren't just some swindlers, we all have all the evidence. Here, look. He takes a rusty sword from his belt and shows you the hilt, which features a nearly worn off golden crest. The grinning animal it depicts mostly, most closely resembles a shabby, shabby possum. Here. The Royal Smilodon is the ancient symbol of the rulers of Sarkoris. I've also got a wart on my chest in the shape of a crown. Of course, I'm the heir to the throne. Okay. And for those who don't believe me, well, they can get lost. That's what I say. Let them go into Polaros Fall, where all the kings of Sarkosis are buried. There's my entire family tree has been written in stone. Go and read it for yourself. Uh, where is that? Or what's that? Are you deaf? You should... Drink pine needle infusion. It'll do wonders for your ears and your eyes, too. I'm telling you, all the dead of the Sikorian king are in the ground there. In mausoleums, tumbrils, and those whatchamacallits. Obelisks, that's right. And it's all written there. About my ancestors, about me. Just go look, and everything will make sense. By every law of the land, I'm king. Uh, what do you think you're entitled to? trickster mythic path okay we are simple people we don't need much i mean no that's not what i meant we are simple people not simple at all we need great deal king's palace throne land but all i that can but all that can wait until you take back is and make all the demons leave as for now i wouldn't mind having a king's residence here in dresden a place to sleep and some hot food that'd be start i see soldiers throw this imposter out of here hey why how could you oh some commander you are Interesting. It has all to do with that one mythic path. Oops. We didn't need to click on that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Hail, Commander. I found out how the demon snuck up on us. It won't happen again. Where the hell is the storyteller? I can handle it. 
have so many things I need to give him. Like seriously, one stream is going to be hanging out with a storyteller. The whole stream. Okay, so I think we were gonna save this dagger. Well, this is important later. The rest of this stuff can. I think my horse has something better than this, but. Okay, so what we need. Power shield. And where's the heavy barding? We not have heavy barding. Need to find him heavy barding. Thought we had like a set. I'm not seeing it though. Be good for my horse. Okay. Wait, was there anything else that I wanted to save? I wanted to save the staff. The rest of this stuff is. Okay. Yep. All right. Can't make the demons wait. Uh, let's go check the prison. Beautiful. Wonder when I can let her out. I'll probably let her out. But she did she did run away. Gotta make an example. I mean I've been executing people that are dissenting. I can't just like have her walking around. That'd be weird. Um around these guys for a second. Uh, I found Murbrug near Winter Sum, but he's unlikely to return. The old man's size carries both indignation and reckless boy, and he said he's still alive. Praise Amadai. Of course he won't return. The boy is stubborn as a billy goat. He must think he's doing his duty. Please help him. Make sure he returns to me in one piece. I will be indebted to you. Alright, I have to go. Listen to no man, what you're doing is very okay. Okay. It's exotic weapons. What is this loot?
Got a little something for you, Commander. The lads decided to chip in. You've been taking care of us, Commander, so we decided to take care of you. Please take this gift. Get yourself a magic ring or a new helmet. We'll be very happy. Accept the money. Thank you. Take this gold and all of you raise glasses to my health instead. Let's do the campaign war chest. As you wish, Commander. Although it feels wrong, we've collected money for you, and now it will become back to our own wages. You certainly are generous. Okay. Are you going to manage the fortress now? No way, Commander. Not in a million years. I can manage an expedition just fine, but running a fortress is a different kettle of fish. This is a work for me and man's head explode, which is why they sent us expert um, near us him. Her name is Durga Linda Strangehold. I see how she handles things. She knows what she's about. That's one I'm an eyes bless her. She'll be managing the fortress, and I'll keep care of the soldier just like I've been doing. Okay, show me what you have. Trying to find a good tower shield. Maybe some barding. Tower shield weighs twice as much as a usual tower shield and it's limit its wielder speed to 20 feet. Whenever the wielder receives a critical hit, they are healed. With the amount of HP equal to the number of their die. I don't like that movement. Okay, the rest of this is stuff I've sold. Bulk sale. This one, garbage. Oh, I want to keep that in stock too. That's our garbage, 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 garbage. Okay, um... We will never use that. We will use that if we need to. Keep all these scrolls and hardly use any. These are worthless at this point. Anything under three is gonna be worthless. But the rest of the stuff I could see myself using at some point. Yeah, most all these spells. Like protections and whatnot. And like I know it rests a lot, but there could be a point where I need this. Except for that. I would never use that. Small elementals we can get rid of. Still carrying around the heads. Should probably just put those away. Okay. Making sure he doesn't have any text. Well, we know what he needs to do. Okay, where's the blacksmith? Alright, buddy. You've got to have what I'm looking for. You don't. You're worthless. I can handle it. This is that one dagger. Let's 
plus uh, it's a light crossbow grants its wielder plus two insight bonus man these are good Who would have what I'm looking for? Does nobody have it? Lady Konami. Commander, how will I be of service? I haven't really talked to her yet. Uh, yeah, what is your role in my army? Oh, don't get me wrong, Commander, but I'm not your soldier. I serve for Majesty's Queen Galfrey. She sent me head diplomat council of crusade and consult with you on particular sensitive matters. Uh, what's the diplomatic council and why do I need it? To solve matters of policy, of course. The crusade is more than just battles and sieges. It is the largest military project in all of Aviston, funded by the treasuries of more than a dozen major powers. And each one of these powers, in addition, is seeking victory over the demons. Also pursues its own goal. The Diplomatic Council will manage this tangle of politi or political interests and prevent the Crusades from losing favor of the influenced benefactors. And while we're at it, influential benefactors, and while we're at it, ensure that Nerosin remains satisfied with the state of affairs. After all, for the last hundred years, the entirety of Mandevian politics has revolved around the Crusades in some shape or form. That's why the capital is sent me here to observe, offer suggestions, and keep diplomatic situations under control. Uh, tell me more about the Royal Council. The Royal Council operates under Her Majesty as the highest governing body in Mendev and or comprises her most able and trusted servants. It is, uh, it is responsible for day-to-day -day matters of state. They are the hands and the voice of the Queen. The Council has gathered people from all walks of life. Some of them are nobles, but many more are citizens of humble origin who earn their position through wit. Many are rich, but a fair number of them are more humble means. I think we've already gone over this. Okay. Tell me more about yourself. Um, it's unbecoming of a diplomat to talk about themselves at length, but who am I to refuse? I am Tenzea from the noble Kitsune. Like any Kitsune, I have always been curious to a fault and venture. Yeah, we've talked about that. Okay. Good to go. I have a question regarding diplomacy. Yeah, okay. I think we talked about this when we first mentioned it, because like some of that stuff was coming up familiar. Hmm. Maybe the captain would have some barding. I need barding. For my horsey. Actually here, let's check this. Let's check the other two dudes and then and then we'll go down there. And plus we need to talk to the new person. Commander, the middle-aged dwarf salutes you. Her face is disfigured by the huge scar. One of her eyes is covered in a black patch, but other look at you sternly and intently. Uh, stranglehold at your service. Uh, what's your role in my army? I'm the chief quartermaster in charge of material support. I make sure your brave soldiers are armed, armored, and fed when they go into battle. Or at least two out of three are. You know how it goes. She chuckles. I'm also head of logistics council. If we're missing something, I'll report it to you right away. Um, what does the Logistic Council do? It supplies... what else? As you lead your troops to those legendary battles, we solve various non-heroic issues like what our fighters are going to eat tomorrow, how to fix the chainmail shortage, and how to get your hands on a shipment of helmets we purchased that sucks somewhere in a stall of... Those are the headaches we deal with. Sometimes, however, we are faced with something we can't just hash out with uh, without you. That's when we assemble the Council and ask for your decision. But Torog willing, that won't happen too often. We've got our supplies covered, so you go ahead and be heroic to your heart's content. Okay. Alright, I have to go. Good luck. I don't really care too much about that character. Can't make the demons wait. Alright, so the jewelry trader is not gonna have anything besides jewels, right? I mean, this is cool, but this is not what I'm looking for right now. Oh, did I accidentally shield, sell my power shield? I 
think I did. Sometimes so much that so we have medium barding. of inventory and I don't know where it would be. A heavy shield. I need a tower shield. I mean I can afford it but like Get a tower shield plus two. Wow, we need to find heavy barding. I thought we had some. We either had some or knew of a place to get some, and I lost it. Oh, disappointing. Okay. Let's grab this. All right. What is she? She is a ranger. Okay. Her spot's already kind of filled. But good to know. Hello, you. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to switch this here. I just want to see this. So it goes 33, 34. Okay. Okay. Fine, it, she sucks with the attack bonus, but I want to see that on Roach. We need to get you heavy barding, Roach. I don't know what happened to it. I thought we had some. It's going to annoy me. Yeah, let's head to the barracks real quick. Talk to the captain. Maybe someone inside has it. See the captain here. Here we go. I was hoping you would honor me with a visit. I know you're actually busy, but I'm eager to meet the person who managed to restore Galorian control over a part of Sarkodian lands for the first time in decades. This is incredibly symbolic. Uh, tell me who you are again. 
I'm Captain Sunkland and the Commander Officer of the Mercenaries Band called Blackstone Company. We're vanguards of Endoran groups of sellswords whose service were paid by Queen Galfrey. Our advanced forces were sent to Dresden, and I'm happy that I was chosen to lead them. Uh, tell me about your mercenary company. The Blackstone Company is proud to be recognized as one of the finest Endorian mercenary regi uh, regiments. We're not a bunch of unscrupulous sellswords looking to oppress innocents and serve the tyrants of the world. No, we're adventurers eager to get involved in dangerous enterprise and leave with pockets full of gold. All right. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. up here shit okay all right tell me about yourself affirmative i hail from a siren my parents were caravanners they knew the entire length and breadth of the desert fearing no heat thirst or wind they told me that i was born after the miraculous these survived a fierce sandstorm or after they miraculously survived a fierce sandstorm one that raged for five days straight blocking the sun out of the sky we call the sandstorm like those Hermotans. I don't know if uh, it made me the way I am, but I do know they named me after the sandstorm. I didn't follow in my parents' footsteps. In truth, I feel uneasy in the desert. Among the dunes, I feel like I'm trudging through a swamp. Instead of, I enlisted in the army of his majesty, Kelmet High. Kelmet the first. Okay. He had just ascended the throne after throwing off Kaleshite yoke, and returning to a siren to its independence. I soldiered in uh, the infantry for exactly 100 years. I saw and shed no shortage of blood, both mine and that of others. In other words, I performed the duty to my homeland. But the older I got, the stronger, a nagging voice in my heart grew. It kept telling me that I was not fighting for what I should have been. Homelands or not, there was a war in the world that meant more than all of the others. I went to the Temple of Ra, made a sacrifice, and prayed. O King of the Heavens set me on my path. That same night, I had a dream. I was, sands I was a sandstorm flying over endless lands as if I had a falcon's wing over the desert to the sea and the forest right towards the world wound. My God had shown me the path that was clear as day. I resigned and left for a faraway Mendev. For two dozen years, I had served Her Majesty Galfrey, had a good taste of the abyss. Then the whole disaster of Canterbury occurred and the queen called for a new crusade. And here I am, fighting under your command. Right, I have to go. And do we have like no other person to buy stuff from? We have the dude at the temple, but I don't think he has any party. Make the demons wait. Let's go uh, talk to our new recruit. You're at her story. Okay. Marshall and Ruby Eyes stares watchfully at the passerby who don't notice her even at arm length. She turns to you, her face a mixture of con contemplation, sadness, and admiration. They're amazing, aren't they? Uh, we're being attacked by demons with unusual power. Do you know anything about them? Back in Aleutian, there was rumors about terrible experiments that Baphomet and Discari performed on the troops to make them stronger. He thinks for a while. Finally, she answered. Okay. Here on the material plane, these rumors were embellished with lots of detail. Some say that demons undergo ritual acquired from Zan Kuthan. Others say they feed their on the blood of the angels or Clippiths or demon lords. Still, others say there were there are no except, uh, experiments, and Baphomet is just bringing back fighters from the future. A future in which the demons have already taken all of Glorian. Is there a grain of truth in any of the rambling? There's no way to know. Naturally, none of these rumors have any indication of where the demons come from. I'm sorry, I can't help. The only thing that's clear is that the lowly fighters in the army of the Abyss are as puzzled by this as we are. So what are you doing here? I'm watching. She nods to the city dwellers as they pass very past. I'm listening to the conversation, studying their faces. I'm trying to understand what they truly are. Uh... Do you like, uh, why do you like to watch people? You know, when I, in my old life, I thought I knew everything about them. I was a master of seduction, after all. I knew how to tempt a mortal into doing anything I required. 
I could trap them in a lie or lie myself and never get caught. It's disgusting to remember, but that was my life for many centuries. Now I see I knew nothing. A demon warrior probably also considered himself an expert on mortals because he killed so many of them. He certainly knows where to thrust the spear for a quick death and where to thrust it for a long and painful one. And he thinks that's enough. My knowledge, it was of the same kind. I ruined many mortals without learning the first thing about them. Now I watch them to understand them. This won't give my victims back their lives, of course, but still, by growing closer to these mortals, it's like I'm paying back some part of my debt to my victims' memories. Have you learned anything new about mortals? They love cats. Aristotle speaks in a very serious manner, as if she's sharing an important science... Oh, they love cats. Scientific discovery with you. But then, a moment later, she smiles and gives you a joking... It gives the joke away. Seriously, have you observed your observations? Ah, observations of humans led to anything. I wouldn't want to draw any rash conclusions. I've only been watching them for a short while, but I think I've understood one thing. Saki Boy has a saying: "Mortals always lie. If a mortal isn't talking, it means she's busy lying to herself." But now I see this isn't true. You mortals aren't liars. You're dreamers. Each of you creates a huge daydream of yourself. Everyone you share your life with. This isn't exactly a lie, because the daydream is your truth. I see. Let me ask you another question. That's not too deep. That it doesn't make me contemplate while I'm playing a video game. Hmm. Let me ask you a personal question. The kind of question a mortal might ask a succubus. You want to talk about sex? Or shall look you in the eye? Ask me anything. I'll not keep secrets from you. But don't expect to hear any lighthearted or anything lighthearted or pleasant. Uh, the kiss of succubus is deadly, isn't it? Not just the kiss, any caress of any kind. Sucks the life from mortal, and there's nothing I can do about it. Aerishel touches her lips ever so slightly. For mortals, tenderness is tenderness and violence is violence, but I don't know what it's like to kiss and not inflict pain. I just hope my observations of mortals help understand. Young lovers, old spouses, even what mortals condemn as promiscuous. To me, it all looks like something amazing. Human. Wait, you mean you don't just watch people during the day out in the street? Well, I never touch anyone. I never harm anyone. I just watch. Listen, is that bad? You must respect the pri others' privacies. Please restrict yourself to observing people in public. If you say so. I'm sorry if I did something wrong. I haven't quite figured out how mortal's <laughs> life works. Um, I'm going to ask it. What is sex between demons like? Everything demons do is sort of cannibalism. Each devours mortals and other demons in their own way. Some enjoy lit, uh, literally tearing off pieces of flesh with their teeth. Others like to subdue and then turn their prey into slaves and living tools. Some feed on other humiliation. It comes in different forms, but the essence is always the same. Another being is an object to be used for your own pleasure. Demon sex doesn't differ from any of the other type of violence. In my form or life, it was something I did to others, or others did to me. Only one person ever received pleasure, not the other. Do you still feel the desire? Urshala keeps a long silence as she searches for her answer. I, you see, on one hand, my succubus nature remains with me. I feel the desire I feel is the one for my own life. When I look at any mortal, I immediately imagine how she looks away. But the feeling, but that feeling, that desire, it's not what mortals feel. When you like someone, you don't ponder how good it would feel to drink their soul, do you? Think about how good it would feel to be together. Together, you see. You know how to want someone, and at the same time, not want to destroy them. For me, it's always one and the same. True despair rings in Aurilla's voice. I'm not even talking about love. Just the common nature, uh, mutual affection of mortals, when they're not poisoned with violence. Now I know that I've been uh, never felt it. It's hard to imagine it's even possible. Love is a wonderful feeling. I believe you will be able to experience it someday. I hope so. Just that she brings her hand to her chest. I don't deserve it. Who would dare love a predator from the abyss? Who, by her very nature, is unable to return those feelings? Do not lose hope. One day you will find someone to teach you how to feel. Thank you. It's hard for me to imagine right now, but I still can hope. 
Uh, thank you for being so open. I'm not going to touch her. Alright, I have to go. Oh, wait. Um, what do you think of the powers I gave you? It's a great temptation. I don't know if I should be trusted with such power. I certainly wouldn't trust myself with it. When you have so much power, it's easy to decide you're a god and mortal are your toys. Perhaps I should wait until after we defeat the forces of the abyss. Hmm. It's precisely what these powers are for. She thinks for a moment and speaks softly. You take great risk. I'm not sure I can handle the temptation. It's hard enough as it is. Alright, well I have to go. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me about your life in the abyss. I can't tell you about all of the abyss. I've only seen a small part. If you like, I can tell you about the Midnight Isles and... Pollution. Okay, tell me about the Midnight Isles. In the ocean of Ishar, not far from the mouth of the river Styx, there is a chain of islands. This is the realm of Noctulia, the queen of the succubi. There is no sun there. Only a moonlit night, alternating with a moonless one. Each of the islands is one of the nocturnal trophies that remains the powerful entity that perished at her hands. As you see, you cannot take a step in the abyss without treading on corpses. Uh, tell me about Ulish Nira. The Porphyry City is Noctilus' capital. There's no city like it in the mortal world. Absalom is a village in comparison. Millions, I don't exaggerate, millions of demons and mortals live there. Some come voluntarily, not only from Galorian, but from other planes as well. Noctilus keeps an open boundary and enjoys having many guests, merchants, and travelers in the city. Some arrive in change. The slave trade is the most thriving business in the city. From afar, the city may seem a merry place. Many of its dwellers do enjoy themselves, until it's their turn to become someone else's toy. It's the city of suffering, Dios, of cheerful festival tournaments that everyone in the city inflicts on those torments that everyone in the city inflicts on those around them. Okay, thanks for the information. Uh, actually, what are some of the places of interest in Illusionary? The heart of the business court of the flesh markers markets where the slave trade takes place i grew up in the mansion of lady valexia her house is always full of guests uh doing their best to entertain her those who performance is not like not to her liking remain risk not to her liking risk remaining at her house forever the main attraction of the succubi city is of course the brothels the ten thousand delights i need not tell you what they offer if you can imagine it someone is selling it not far from you uh, not far from there, you can find Harem of Ardent Dreams, which serves as sort of uh, city hall. Shamira, Nocticula's right hand and mayor of the Alushinari, receives her visitors there. For those who prefer bloodier sports, there are many arenas in the city. The most famous of them is the Battle of Bliss. Battles run continuously without, break without breaks and without rules. It doesn't matter what trickery you use to win, it only matters how much fun the crowd is having. And above all is the Tower of House of Silken Shadows, Nocticula's Palace, hundreds thousands of towers and domes adorned with jewels. There are legends of what happens inside. Many have striven to experience the delights of the Succubice Queen's Palace, forgetting that it, will, it was built for her pleasure, not theirs. Uh, what can you tell me about Nocticula? She's called the Lady in the Shadow. They say that she was the first succubus. She's far from the most powerful of the demon lords, but she ha this hasn't kept her from being the ruin of many creatures significant more powerful than herself, even building her kingdom upon their bones. They say that, like Lamashtu, she strives to turn herself from a demon lord into a true goddess. She enjoys killing, but her favorite tools are seduction and deception. She's only stoops to crude violence when there are no other games to play, and even then she backsteps from the shadows. Her favorite weapon is a crossbow, though a silk uh, garret would suit her better. If you should ever meet her, do not believe a word she says, and do not fall for her provocations. Do not try to beat her at her own game, and most importantly, remember, the worst mistake anyone can make is to underestimate her. Okay, thank you. I need to go. Cool. We learned about her. Just gonna see if he has anything besides scrolls. He does. He's got that cool ring. Just wondering if I accidentally sold him something. Sir, expensive scroll skits, kits.
junk I've sold him. Whenever two creatures wearing different halves of this pennant are within 10 feet distance of each other, each gets a plus two circumstance bonus on attack rolls. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I knew where the other one was. Okay. Damn. Okay. Gonna have to figure out where to get heavy barding. Are these count as gloves? Okay. We have to get the right bracers for this dude. Do, do, do. I don't think Captain Odin sells anything, but I'll check. Oops, I forgot to talk to the captain. Um, uh, what's your role in my army? Responsible drills, organizations, strategies. Furthermore, I have honor of serving. Okay. You don't have anything. We can talk about you later. Do I still have to... Sanctum. I thought we just did this already. Oh, we know where the ivory sanctum is. Okay. Leave the demon in the cave. So, let's see what we can I want to do. do Wolf Jif's thing, and then we'll go back and kill that demon in the cave. So let's sleep, and then we'll head out on our adventure. All right. We really should have bought like a potion crafting kit. 
gotta level these dudes up at some point. I know it's very bold of me, but I would like to meet Queen Galfrey. I'd like to talk about her, talk to her, perhaps ask her for advice. She's been fighting these chaos and evil, giving rise to creatures like me for many years. Wish I had her courage. I'm gonna level him up. Because we're gonna need him eventually. Uh, to improve critical. Oh, because I don't know what what real weapons he was using. Um, he's dual handing those pickaxes. Benefits you please uh, saving throws against spells, spell like abilities. Okay. Hmm. You're trained the art of causing pain. You receive plus four bonus on attack rolls more made to confirm critical hits. Okay. Let's do that. Why did I lose this? Must have substituted for another spell. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna do this. This. Yeah, I replaced those spells. Didn't even think about it. No big deal. Alright, let's exit the area. Let's take this group. Alright, Wolf Jeff, let's figure out your conundrum. Exhausted. Okay, so before we sleep, let's move armies. Nice. Skeleton champions and skeleton sharpshooters. Very small amount of units, but I'm still going to put them with the dead army. Where is dead army? Oh, they're all the way down here. He can carry how many units? Only three. Um, I am going to split this up. You are going to come down here. You will hang out at the Lost Chapel. Okay. 
down all the way here. Okay. You. to go here. Wolf is going to go with you. You guys, we will join the army. Okay. Quick save. All right, so dead army, march north. Kind of worried about this group up here. things the most. things obviously need to go down. This is a tough little group. Um, can't move the skeletons. play this battle. Dude, how much health do they have? Nice. Okay, we're gonna lose a bunch of units. Let's let's restart this. Oh, 
Well, I mean, that's what practice is, right? You don't start playing it well, and then you learn how to play it well. Okay. So first things first, let's get rid of these guys. Or try to get rid of these guys. guys Looks like I can't really heal my units. Maybe I should be killing these with one of the spells. Cause like I'm not hitting them at all. just losing units on arm. Wow, dude, like, I'm not doing any damage with this unit. at all. 